we are back apparently this is going to be a break so i don't need to be disappointed when i look down and i see it i already saw it when i was reading jjk and i was like oh wow there's a break i also checked out my hero i was like whoa there's also a break golden week's happening that week so yeah that's the explanation for it but either way understandable oh this is loading up hold on wait let me not look maybe i should have i should have loaded this before okay wow wait <laughs> wait this kind of looks that's really sick bro i like the analogy and i like how interesting how robin is the one who's the player here that probably doesn't mean anything because you know you got chopper as the pawns like no this don't mean anything is that usopp as as bishop luffy's the king nami the queen oh wait no brook is the bishop that's kind of funny jimbe being the rook <laughs> that brick fist what what is what is usopp if he's not a bishop, maybe he is. No, he is a bishop. He has the bishop. Okay, they, they, they got the same hat on. Okay. And Frankie's a rook. Frankie's back there chilling. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Last time we left off, what was it? The last thing I remember, because I didn't edit the video, so I can't really tell. I should have went back. But I think, or at least not what I think. I, I know for sure that the, the Gorosei are spread out and they're fighting different groups. Uh, in particular, we're about to see what we're about to see the weakling trio against Saturn. That's gonna be very interesting. So let's check the note first. Gay Gay was talking about him going to like a barbecue spot, which was pretty interesting. And that yo that chapter, <laughs> that JJK chapter, isn't Seijo Ishi Supermarket great? I wouldn't know. They yeah, I never <laughs> never been to Japan before. They have the best Kazuchi cheese snacks around, and all sorts of roasted sweet potatoes. And oh, kimchi too. Bro! <laughs> Gege was just talking about kimchi because of the because his barbecue comment he made in his note. <laughs> what a coincidence. They're both talking. They both mentioned kimchi the same week in the same writer's note. Oh yeah, that's right. The glove glove. The, the, the glove glove that we heard. People were theorizing what that could be because... Who is it? What's his name? Mars? The, the bird. Mul Moltres. Moltres got in... Or ho -Oh, or whatever you want to call him. Moltres ho -Oh. The world's largest brain in punk records. He got in there, and then we are assuming that somebody is there to stop him, or the gurgling whatever liquid sound effect that we heard in the last panel could be the brain itself and encased in some sort of liquid-filled tube. What could that be? What's the title? Stalemate? Uh, I'm like, why am I getting hype over that? over knowing the title of this i mean stalemate could mean a lot of things but for the context of this little mini miniature egghead war going on right now between the straw hats and the world government is kind of like there's going to be no winners in this now then well my coffee oh is it the coffee he was talking about is it is that was the sound effect coming from his coffee what kind of coffee is this it's some espresso shot that will kill you the girl say better watch out could use more time to cool probably safe to assume that we've given people sufficient time it's a minute left right or less than a minute left he's about to say whatever he needs to say unless moltres gets rid of it so this could be a fake snail this could definitely be a fake snail spread page down spread spread page down below already to set their video transponder snails t minus 30 seconds stella i'm getting nervous we'll be broadcasting to the entire world it continues to live even after your death is he dead? Vegapunk is dead? Is this your true self, Vegapunk? He's looking at the brain. <laughs> oh, he's talking about... Wait, so Vegapunk's body must have died? But his brain is still alive, so he's still... He's alive in a sense that, you know, you maybe you have to kill his brain for him to actually be dead. You can kill his body, you can kill all the satellites, but his brain... As long as his brain is still there and intact. What does it look like? No wonder we're getting a spread page. Big ass brain. Is this your true self, Vegapunk? That's his brain. Punk records. Yeah, that encasing. What is that? Oh my god, it's his head! I thought we were just gonna see like raw brain. <laughs> like, no, it's the top of his dome. <laughs> it's his dome piece. So as long as this is still alive and intact. This looks crazy, by the way. Look at the shading and detail. As long as this is still alive, Vegapunk is, is still around kicking. 
He got the Cerebro on. He looking like a crazy version of Professor X. <laughs> he got the machine on. He got the Cerebro. Then again, what is death to something like this? Is your consciousness even housed here? It's housed everywhere, probably. If you kill this, would the satellites cease to function? Or would they still be around? Like, would they just shut down or what? I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure he actually, like, physically divided his brain and then, you know, gave it to each satellite or what. But as I'm saying that, I just accidentally looked to the bottom left. My man's, what was his name? Mary? His, it's not Mary. It's not, why are we going back to East Blue? <laughs> Yo, you know, you, when we go back to East Blue, you know, some gas is about to happen. Indeed, this footage will eventually reach the entire world. Da, da, da. I take pride in that connection. But sharing this is also a great burden. Transitional panel. No way. Wait, where are we? Okay, Sarah Village. No way. You don't have one, Kaya-san? Uh, we thought you'd be the one person in the village who would. Sarah Village, Usopp's hometown in the East Blue. Going back to the East Blue, you know this is about to be some heat. Oh my god. What? Anytime a chapter goes back to east blue or any any sort of previous destination that the straw hats were in like we we went back to uh water seven checked up on ice pops you you just know you just know bro it brings such good memories my dude got facial hair my dude was going out do you realize how big video transponder snails are where are we yo she got that she got that Oh my god, yo, they, they done grown up. <laughs> she got that fit on. Bro has hair coming out his apple hat. <laughs> uh, carrot looks pretty much the same. Onion, onion kind of looks like Kobe a little bit. Yo, this is real funny. <laughs> he still got the pirate hat on too. They playing pirate. Yo, oh my god. We got to see Usopp in his, Usopp MVP moment then. If we're seeing the Sarah Village cut back, if we're cutting back to here real quick, Usopp needs to do something. I, I need to see Usopp do something against Saturn. It's rather larger than your average house pet. Now allow me to fetch the tea. Dr. Vegapunk is a legend in the medical field, you know. I know all about it. Yeah, he wants to be, somebody wants to be a doctor, right? I know all about it. As if you big liar. Okay. <laughs> so it's definitely Onion. Onion's the doctor. Pimon Ninja. That's, I guess that's their... Japanese translated names. He's he's saying apple, um, or his name is Pepper actually. Pepper carrot. Pepper carrot onion. I think it's an apple because it looks like an apple with the stem, but that's not his name. Uh, you should take Dr. Vegapunk's research more seriously. Do they all want to be doctors? I can't remember. Ooh, we're coming back to. Oh my God, we're going all around the world. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, is this going to be Sarah Village and then, you know, it's going to come back to AK. Bro, we're going around the world. All around the world with this one, bro. Yo, this is going to be peak. Oh, my God. It'll be starting shortly. And they're taking, are they going to be taking notes, bro? Are they taking notes? It should be like LaLucia, like cut the cut the feet off, bro. <laughs> cut the feet off. We're going to nuke this place. I, I hope Dragon actually has like a secondary thing set up so that if the one that that is on AK gets destroyed. The feed is still going to play. The video is still going to be recording live for people to, to look and hear. The twin capes, bro. He's still chilling with Laboon. Look at his transponder now. He doesn't even need to look. He's just... He already knows. He knows about the world already. He's just sitting back like, yup. The good old days. <laughs> the good old days. He about, to, he about to spill the beans on the world? Man, I knew about that 30 years ago. Baltimore. Wow. We're on Baltimore. You mean he really was born here? You betcha. He's Baltimore's pride and joy. Let me see. They got them parkas on. They all they all bundled up. Bro, look at the lion. Got like got like the Sunny's ornament on. Wasn't he responsible for the nightmare of Baltimore? No. <laughs> no. That was Frankie. He turned himself into a ship now. Oh, because of the uh the bounty poster. I see what Oda's doing here. Maybe he might actually turn into Counter Pluton, but that's a that's a theory for another time. How many years has it been now, Vegapunk? He knows him. I mean, of course, hometown. But like, this dude in particular, I wanna, I wanna know about that. I wanna know more about that. Give me like a little mini flashback or something. Dude, wow, we're going. Okay, okay, all right, we're go we're going to the the three two. Uh, what what's it called? The three cross out 
to we're going back to the time skip locations birdie kingdom where chopper studied but well we're going everywhere seems it's about the island where tanuki chi is they call him tanuki chi Gua! a king of modern science but his smarts have also been used to make many weapons. Hachinosu. Where is... Where is... Garp, brother? <laughs> where is Garp? You, you better tell me. You better tell me where this man Garp is. I swear to everything. He better be alive. I, he better be at least alive, bro. I said this... I said this online, I need to see God Volley, the God Volley matchup in present day. I'm talking about Luffy and Kobe going up against Blackbeard. Same way that would be akin to Roger and Garp fighting, uh, I said Shanks, fighting Rocks. That would be, that would be so fire. Because Kobe's already developing his same status that Garp has. He's got, he's got the adjacent galaxy named attacks with his honesty punches and stuff he's developing that now and it's gonna get even better it's gonna get stronger he's he's raring to become his prime self the way garp was many years ago once we see that because what he did against the uh against pizarro he he's now scratching the surface i know there's gonna be more from him later on but when we have all these two not not just two. When we have all these three parties come together and it, and that clash happens, I I I just know. I, I feel like it's gonna happen though. That's what it's being set up for. Like they're gonna fight Blackbeard so they can save Garp. And if it's not the case, and it's just gonna be you know Kobe by himself. Well, not by himself. He's gonna be with other Marines. But if it's just Kobe and the Marines, then whatever. That's fine too. Quiet down, you scallywags. That Vega fellow is gonna speak, brother. <laughs> they're out here shooting each other getting drunk and stuff they're not about to hear about what's going on with the world so what you crossed me earlier i ain't letting that slide just to listen to some old fossil matey bro ignorant <laughs> ignorant oh my lord what is this place can you hear me back at ak though okay that was pretty short testing testing this is vegapunk got that from mars oh snap it's fake attention world an ordinary transponder snow that means this is no mere hiding place then you wanted to fool me with a decoy? Look at his face. <laughs> Yo, Gandalf is not pleased. Curse you, Vegapunk. Hello out there. Stella, we already had an introduction. <laughs> bro, no more ads, bro. I'm sick of the advertisements. I'm not trying to hear about Raid Shadow Legends one more time. When we did the signal jacking part, I know that. Fine, we'll get started. Without further ado. Okay, I was talking a lot, but there's so much more chapter left. Unless it's going to be like editor notes at the bottom. But there is... We're not even halfway through the chapter yet. So he could actually say it. Oda Oda could do it. Don't don't bait us again, Oda. You better say it. Are we going to get... Are we going to get the void sensory reveal, please? <laughs> right, I'm stalling. Hold on. All right, let's hear it already. Who knows what's coming? What's up? What, what islands are these? A very important man is making an announcement. Just go back to bed, dear. No, you... <laughs> Stay up and hear this. It hasn't stopped yet. Mars, what are you doing? <laughs> You're fumbling, bro. <laughs> Mars, what are you doing? <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> My apologies. That wretched Vegapunk. Oh, why are you blaming Vegapunk, bro? That's your own fault, you dummy. He was much more cautious, cautious than we gave him credit for. There is currently no stopping the broadcast. Got him, dude. All right, so that's. So yeah, that's a stalemate. I guess like you know they're destroying the island, but hey, bruh, <laughs> this is actually a loss. I would consider this a huge loss. Like if the void century information gets out and the truth of the world is revealed, that is a major loss. Like they could destroy this island. Vega Vega Punk could die. Okay, you know what? Now that I think about it, Vega Punk dying. Like, cause if he remained alive, he could support the Straw Hats, and the Straw Hats and his allies. And that would have been very good. He could, he could stop Pacifista. He could do whatever. Yeah. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Okay, yeah. That's a stalemate. It's impossible to, to determine. And did he blow up that lab? No, he just... I, mm, I think he just left. I'm not sure if he actually destroyed the uh, the brain. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, I scrolled down too much. I saw <laughs> I saw a Ganon. I saw a Ganon in the Dune Worm. Hold on. It's impossible to determine how much he actually knows or what he intends to say now, but York told us he wishes to carry the torch of the O'Haran scholars. And the the O'Harans they yeah, they knew for sure like everything about the world. They knew the they knew the name of the ancient kingdom. I mean that was just I'm sure that was just the surface, right? That was the tip of the iceberg. They knew it a whole lot more. This won't be a repeat of Clover. Yes, it will, bruh. He means to finish what Ohara started? The mini flashback. Oh my god, and they're all, they're all sweat. Well, they're, I'm sure they're sweating, even though they're in their demon forms. But, bro, the sweat marks. This We're, we're sweat scaling, by the way. Vegapunk, did you hear that? It was a sweet girl crying out. Bonnie-chan needs help. Or, Bonnie-chan needs me. Bro, I expected so much more from you, Sanji. <laughs> You like, bro. You should have got in there, bro. You you really allow Vegapunk to to get impelled twice, man. And why why aren't you going at like mock speed, bro? Utilize your powers, man. What is that thing? Oh snap! Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. We're getting into this now. Jury Bonnie, we will not surrender our military might to you. So, that's very interesting. San Sanji going up against the swordsman instead of Zoro fighting Venus. I don't know how to feel about that. It is a it it's different, so I like it cuz you know, we're not just getting okay, Sanji fights the Sanji adjacent adjacent villain, Zoro fights the, you know, his adjacent swordsman or whatever. We're getting opposites now. They're fighting they're fighting opposites of what they would be fighting for their enemy, for their opponent. So that's kind of cool you know it breaks the uh the trend that we've been going for like 20 years now in one piece get back bonnie out of the way frankie huh if anyone's gonna pull off a impressive rescue of bonnie it's gotta be sanji it'll be me Ooh, the uppercut he got in there he wait he did a lot he went in there he got in there deflected the strike then jumped up and then did a a rising kick to his chin he chin checked him now he chin checked him. His face is all dark. I can't tell if he's using armament hockey to, <laughs> to try to block this. But I don't think it's still did some damage. He's bleeding. That chin check is crazy. Look at the look at the perspective. <laughs> look at the perspective, bro. This is a nice shot with, with Vega Punk on his shoulder. All right, well, let's let's see it then. So who's Zoro gonna fight? We're not gonna cut you slack just because you're senile. This is a pirate fight, you geezer. Is his face on fire? Oh, that's why it's dark. Sanji must have did like a burning kick? Or is he transforming? Oh no, he's transforming. Okay, he's transforming. That's what that was. Bit Sanji. Bro, that's the, the skeleton. Bro, the skeleton horse is crazy. I thought it was silky. I forgot. What is it again? I gotta, <laughs> I gotta read through these chapters again, bro. I forgot. He got bit. Vegapunk is... He... He... <sighs> Literally fumbled Vegapunk. He's he's flying off now. Somebody catch this man. Sanji. What's that? Giants, get in there. Are those the giants from Minnie's lobby? I confess that. It's starting. Oh, yo. Simultaneously. They're holding the horse back. He's huge. I didn't even peep. How large is that sword? Does, does the sword grow with his, <laughs> with his transformation? It wasn't that large when he's in human form. He, he must be able to grow the sword, too. Bro, the two giants are holding this man back. I did not peep that he was that large. Holy hell. Like, I knew he was large because he was he was standing over uh, PX3s. That's Kuma size, you know? Kuma's a large dude himself. He's a buccaneer. But I didn't know he was... I didn't know he was damn near giant size. These dudes can mount, bro. <laughs> they can mount on, bro, and, fucking, and go around the island right at him. So, yeah, so that's... That, Oimo and Kashi. Last time I... I thought their names were like Sachi or something. I don't know why I said Sh uh, Sachi. Oimo Kashi. Two giants holding this man down. I confess that I committed two grave sins. Quote unquote sins. Stella. Distorted future. Nika is future? What the heck? Is that Jewelry Bonnie? Give me a giant is future. She turned? Bro. <laughs> oh my god. The more I see of her powers, the more she's damn near just being close to Gear 5 Luffy, bro. She just turned herself into a giant? Where it takes Luffy Gear 5 to become a giant, she just becomes one? 
That's not no awakening. That's just her base fruit. Like, she's strong. What the heck? Luffy can't do that alone. He has to awaken first. Like, bro. <laughs> this fruit kind of broken with a good imagination. I believe that I will soon be executed for my transgressions. This message will be programmed to broadcast the second my heart stops beating. So his body, okay, his body is definitely dead. His heart stopped, his body is dead, but his brain is still going. I wonder how long his brain can go on for, though. Like, that technology can definitely keep his brain alive, but... Okay, so now we're getting... Ooh, Saba Odi. He can't be serious. We're getting reactions of his, of his quote-unquote death. Wait, does that mean he's already dead? I got so many thoughts in my head, but I'll, I'll save them for later. It can't be. He was all over the papers just this morning. They say he's been held hostage by the Straw Hat Pirates. Now, what's his name again? I forgot. You know that's not the case. Caesar? Where are we? Oh, we're at, we're at Germa. We're at the Germa location. I refuse to accept this. You're lying, you bastard. Oh, and there, he's crying. Bro, you had so much spite for your teacher, bro. Now you want to cry? I hate Caesar. You can't just die. We just teamed up so we can surpass you. What a bum, bro. What a, what a bum. You thought you were going to surpass Vegapunk? You don't even got the fruit for it. You don't even got the double fruit for that. I could imagine if he didn't have a double fruit. Like, oh, maybe you could surpass him. But he had the brain brain fruit, bro. How are you going to surpass the brain? He was a brain man. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. What's the big idea with this massive broadcast? Is he trying to kill the print media? <laughs> Morgan just care. Morgan really cares about that paper. Even so, I wanted to make one thing clear. And I pray you understand this. Please do not assume that the ones who strike me down are evil. Really? Really? Regardless of who they seem to be, I do not intend to discuss right or wrong here. He just wants to give out history, bro. He'll let history do the talking. Yeah! Leave us alone. Oh, the weekly trio. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, we got a Sarah Village flashback. Or not flashback. Cutaway. We better see what Usopp can do. I, he's not good. I'm not expecting much, but like, do something, Usopp. I'm not qualified to judge such things. And I do not know nearly enough about him in any case. Him. What does he mean by, what do you mean by him? Vegapunk? What? And I do not know nearly enough about him in any case. Who? He's getting mad. He's getting mad. Saturn knows. Step aside. I have no time to deal with vermin like you. Not even worry about the weakling trio. Plus Brooke. <laughs> bro, let's see it, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was there was one good thing that's, uh, that was brought up. Usopp is the only person, in the, one of the only people in the crew that's not scared of spiders. That being said, I hope this Gya was not by Usopp, bro. <laughs> I hope, I hope none of this was by Usopp, bro. You, you should not be scared of this, man. That voice. I see. Him! Spread page. Ooh, spread page. Robin saying that voice. I see. That is quite an audacious hypothesis. I, I just peep Robin's in the cart. I was like, what's in the cart? I'm like, oh, that's Robin. Robin is face to face with a Gorosei. If anybody wants Robin dead, it's a Gorosei. Please protect Robin, bro. <laughs> the weakling trio has to- Oh my god! The weakling trio. Y'all better lock in. <laughs> I'm not playing, bro. I'm, I'm not. No. 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 Zoro. Zoro. <laughs> Luffy. Anybody. Get in there. Dragon. Your student is in danger. <laughs> Please. Somebody. Somebody, bro. Oh my god. You must be Nico Robin. The woman Akainu let slip through his fingers. Blaming I Blaming? <laughs> These- They're league players, bro. I was telling you this from the jump. They blaming Mars. They're blaming Akainu. Who next? That impotent- Bro. That impotent fool. He's one of the five elders? This is her reaction to seeing these demons. Cause she heard them on the phone before. What are you talking about? Da 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 exclamation mark. Bro, protect Robin, please! Oh my god! Chopper, get in there. Please. Ooh, not me!
Nami and Zeus MVP moment? Oh my god! Oh, Ch I didn't even realize Chopper tanked that? Chop Chopper with the guard point. Oh my god. Oh, Nami Chopper MVP moment? I was not expecting that against the girl, say. Was not expecting that. What, what can he do in Monster Point against Saturn, bro? I need to see that. We'll keep you safe no matter what. You filthy insects. I need to go back a few chapters and see why she was bandaged up like that and put in the cart. I don't remember her getting injured at all in this arc. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot to take in, bro. Oh my god. We're almost at the end of the chapter. This isn't the final page either. I'm sure what I'm about to say will be hard to accept. Some of you may think of me as a madman or even an idiot. I hope he says something <laughs> brand new. Brand new by the end of this chapter. There's, I'm, I'm sure there's only one more page left. He better say something. Please say something, bro. Don't, Oda, don't let us wait another chapter. And, and it's going to be on break, too. We have two weeks to wait to, to find out what he's going to say again. It doesn't have to be a lot, but give us a word. Give us a singular word that we can take away from this entire chapter. This is futile. There are too many life forms in the vicinity of the laboratory. I cannot sense any unique telepathic waves. Yeah, you bum. Why are you relying on that? Think, think, think. If this keeps up, they won't let me be a celestial dragon. They're not going to let you be a celestial dragon, little sis. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a Vegapunk too, so where would I hide it? That said, she probably, it's, bro, if it's really hidden, I, if I see the queendom, if I see the, if I see a transitional panel in a queendom, I'm, I'm jumping on my seat. That confirms that they really had the recording be based there. That'll be immaculate. That said, it is my duty to ensure that everyone is aware of this issue. This is a real issue right here, spread page. One panel at a time. Oh, my God. Bro, those were some bold letters. Okay, yeah, let me look away from that until I get to it. One panel at a time. Spread page down below, and there's bold letters. My hand is blocking the way. My hand is blocking. Obviously, the recording isn't blocked. You can block along with me. Perhaps we should consider destroying the power station to stop this. I don't think it matters. It's definitely, it's definitely with Dragon or something on the Queendom. That is one... Bro, I'm too hyped to... Yo, I hate when this happens. I get too hyped and then I can't focus. That is out of the question. The nearby Marines, ships, and equipment aren't the only things we can stand to lose in the blast. We should also be sacrificing our one and only means of replicating our success with the Mother Flame. Huh? Oh, because they, they want to keep the island. They still want to keep the island intact without destroying it entirely. Because they want, they want the uh, resources and materials that the island has to actually make... Uh, more mother flame stuff for that maybe uh for that maybe ancient weapon i'll cut to the chase okay now we can look now we can look so whatever this is i'm looking down now before i look up let me go back up because this i just plunged <laughs> i just plunged down deep sea diving it was too much pressure let me go back up whatever i'm about to read this is it. That Those are some bold-ass letters. I've never seen something like that before. Or, I've seen something like that before in One Piece, so I know what's about the what's about to be brought up. Some gas. So, let's go back down. Without further ado, he said, I'll cut to the chase. Our world is going to sink into the ocean. Our world is going to sink into the ocean. Okay. I don't know what to think about that. I, I feel like when I do f understand what that means, I'm going to lose my mind. But, <laughs> but right now, I can't. I'm not immediately hyped about reading that. I don't know why. That's. I'm not sure to be worried or not. <laughs> I'm not sure to be worried or not. Should I be hyped for that? Our world is going to sink into the ocean. Like, is that literal, metaphorical? What does he mean by that? I think, at this point, it's One Piece. He could, he could mean literal, literally. And that isn't, that's not the end of uh, this spread page. That's the end of the chapter for sure after this. What? Fishman Island. I get it now. I'm on my seat. <laughs> I get it now. 
Bro, the theories of when... The theories back on Fishman Island, when... Uh, what's her name? She's the she's the shark fishman, uh, the sister of Arlong, the fortune teller girl. She was like, Luffy is destined to destroy Fishman Island. And the theories came in that he's going to destroy the red line. And the red line where Marijua sits is right above Fishman Island. So Fishman Island has to be destroyed in order for the red line to collapse and, and crumble down. Because Luffy is probably going to be the main catalyst of starting all those chaotic events of just that happening destroying the red line i wonder if he's going to destroy all of the red line like is gear 5 going to be so powerful that he'll get big enough or powerful enough to just crush the entire red line that stretches across the world or is he just going to destroy the red line that marijua sits at and then that's going to cause the destruction of a uh, fishman island bro i did it's so this is immaculate because I didn't understand what this meant up until I scrolled down and I saw the, the mermaids. Because <laughs> you know what that means. Our world is going to sink into the ocean. And then this. the next. So the next chapter, Vegapunk is probably going to tell us about Joy Boy. If we get a Joy... If, if we get a Joy Boy flashback. If we get a Joy Boy flashback and Vegapunk describes parts of what the One Piece could be that involves sinking the world into the ocean that is going to be zenith fiction that is going to be some zenith apex fiction tippity top <laughs> i'm talking zenith bro i'm talking peak i'm talking the summit that is going to be immaculate right just off of that alone if we get any sort of glimpse of a, of a joy boy void century flashback i'm i'm there for that i am so there for that it doesn't say break next week. I'm sure it is though, right? There should be a break next week because of uh, Golden Week. Because there was a break for My Hero and uh, JJK. Oh my god. That was... What a chapter. Okay. There's definitely a break next week. I could be wrong, but just in case, I will see everyone in two weeks. And with those two weeks, I can definitely digest this chapter. I can go online. I can look through the various theories. See whatever, see whatever is up with the reactions to like, bro, MVP moments in this chapter. Sanji doing stuff. We didn't get to see Zoro. I was, I was thinking he might uh, step in and stop Saturn, but it seemed like the weakling trio got it handled right now. That they're, I'm sure they're not going to be able to beat Saturn, but they can definitely get out the way. They, they can escape or something. Yo, I'm, I'm thinking who would Saturn, not Saturn, who would Zoro fight? You know who I thought Sanji was going to fight? I thought he was going to fight Moltres. I thought he was actually going to fight Mars. Because Mars is in the air. Flying around. Doing all this chaotic stuff. And the only person that can actually get up there and fly to fight against Mars is... You know, Luffy can do that now since he has Gear 5. Or he had Gear 4. Gear 4 can do that too. But besides Luffy, it was Sanji. Sanji's the only person that can actually like consistently moonwalk and be in the air and stuff like that. Zoro can kind of do that. So, because, like, if Sanji's busy fighting Venus, and that means that Zoro might fight Mars, Zoro could use that move that he used after beating Kang. Remember remember when he beat Kang, he, like, that was that was such a raw moment, by the way. He took two swords, slat, like, bashed it against the air, and then propelled himself. That was so raw. <laughs> the shockwave alone had him flying back to Onigashima. That was one of the most raw moments <laughs> post-fight. The setup, like, this chapter has a lot of setup, and it has a lot of hype. A lot of setup, a lot of hype, MP MVP moment, cutaways to previous points of the world that we know about and love. This was amazing. But also, it, if we do get Venus versus Zoro, please. <laughs> Oda, please, at least have some sort of interaction between them. I want to see the name of this dude's sword. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Two weeks. Goodbye.